morning, OHS. Not all heroes wear capes. Come watch Harriet tonight at 5 in the LGI. This is a free event. If you attend, you get more chances to win our 40 and 50 raffle prizes as we close our Black History Month celebration. Snacks, beverages, and com great company will be provided. Bring a friend. Also, don't forget to fill in a post-it during lunch today for any other chance to be entered in the raffles. German Club meets this Friday in Miss Harder's room during period six. FBLA meeting today to sign up for the Baseball Hall of Fame trip. Also, pick up your box of candy bars to pay for your cost for the trip. There will be a, base there will be a baseball meeting today at 11.30 in room 305. Oneon Adults for Scholars needs student volunteers to help their annual ma marathon that will be held Wednesday, March 25th. We need students to help stuff envelopes for this mailing. We will meet in the LGI at 530 Wednesday, March 25th. Pizza and be beverages will be provided prior to the work session if you are willing to help in this good cause. Sign up in the guidance office before March 25th. Today is the last day to sign up for the Link Crew Volleyball Tournament which starts next Monday. Grab a sign-up sheet from the Link Crew Bulletin Board due to Miss Lutzik by 2.30. Art Club meets today at 11.45. We will be contributing with learning to crochet <laughs> as well as discussing the New York City field trip. Have a great day, OHS. It's Woo! Did you know George Washington Carver was born into slavery and went on to become one of the most prominent scientists and inventors of his time, as well as a teacher at the Tuskegee Institute. Carver's inventions includes hundreds of products, including more than 300 from peanuts, like milk, plastics, paint, dyes, cosmetics, medicinal oils, soap, inkwood stains, 118 from sweet potatoes, molasses, postage stamp glue, flour, vinegar, and synthetic rubber, and even a type of gasoline. His work with peanuts earned him the nickname Peanut Man. He became the first African American to have a national monument and he was a nutritional advisor to Mohandas Gandhi. On his gravestone is the saying, he could have added fortune to fame, but caring for neither, he found happiness and honor in being helpful to the world.